Well, <clears throat> this is a revisit. Um, I've already done a, a video on this uh, this rather strange engine, uh, but it was about seven years ago, and I, I didn't have a very good camera or any sort of kit in those days. So I thought we'd revisit it because it's quite interesting. Um, <clears throat> I've no idea who made this. It's obviously very old. Um, it looks like it's been made out of bits of furniture, to be totally honest with you. Um, it's a beam engine. It's a solenoid operated beam engine. The, um, the solenoid is inside this, what I can only refer to as a cotton reel affair, inside this wooden uh, tube here. Um, and it's got a massive uh, metal flywheel on it. Um, I'm not quite sure what the diameter on that flywheel is, but let's have a look at it, shall we? Um, Uh, what are we looking at here? Oh, six inches? Yeah, six inches on the flywheel. Um, uh, when I got it, it was missing the uh, this connection here. This this rod, which goes from the top of the beam to the actual breaker mechanism. Now, as a solenoid engine, it needs um, an electrical breaker mechanism and a sub description um, to. Um, create the pulses of power which go to the solenoid. And this has got a very interesting system. So we'll have a close up look at that. Now I don't know how well that's gonna come out on the camera, but, but that glass bulb is actually a mercury switch. And as, it's on a little tilting table. So as the beam goes up and down, so the table drops and lowers and the mercury be bead goes from one end of the tube to the other. And at one end of the tube are the two contacts, which obviously the mercury shorts out when the thing is running. So yeah, it's a it's a very unusual, it's a very unusual system. Quite interesting to see that this this sort of stiction on the uh, mercury is it sort of pulls away from the two metal contacts. When I first got this, the original mercury switch was actually leaking, and I've, I've had to replace it. And I was amazed I could actually find one. But anyway, you can you can see you can see it working. Let's pull back out and have a look at the engine running. So that's the switch. Now, if we pull back out, there I think you can see. And here's the engine running normally. Obviously, you can't actually see the mercury switch from this angle, um, uh, and um, uh, that's about it. That's that's about maximum speed. Um, it's it's mains operated. Very slow, very gentle. And it will uh, just keep running like that for as long as you want it to. As I said, I have no idea who made this or when it was made. I mean, I'm, I'm fairly certain it's 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 very old. Um, but um, I just find it, um, you know, an, an unusual engine. And um, particularly having that mercury switch. Um, I've, I've never seen one use a mercury switch before. Um, and as I said, you know, that's that's how it came. I, I it had a mercury switch on it um, originally. That's not the original one. I did have to replace it because the original one was leaking. But um, you know, that's 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 how it was designed to work. So amazing bit of kit. It's very relaxing to watch this this engine actually. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I just thought I'd do a, a, a another quick little video on this engine because it is a fascinating. A fascinating engine and um, I hope you found it as interesting as I did. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers!